Hello everyone, welcome to another lab session. Uh, today we're gonna keep going on our uh, last portion of the select selection statements. As you guys know, we started our selection statements with the if statements. And then today we're gonna learn the uh, another uh, selection statements, which is the switch case. It's very similar to if statement. Uh, and then we will see, you know, like the, how it works. And then what is the syntax on that one? We have two questions today to solve. Uh, again, we will do the same thing. First, I will try to explain in the drawing the syntax and how it works. Then we're gonna move on to uh, lab section with Jundula and Asya. Hi Jundula, hi Asya. Hi Ozi. Hello everyone. All right, so let's start. Uh, let me explain uh, what is the switch case and what is the syntax and how it works. Okay, switch case is the another selection statements. Only difference uh, different then if statement is, if statement is checking a certain condition and then based on the condition situation, true or false, do the statements or not to do statements and move to other conditions, else if or as, all right? Switch case option is looking for exact match. Okay, that's the keyword. Okay, you guys always need to look for exact match. For example, as you guys see in the screen, we have a variable called option and this option is two. Okay, and then if you see right now my switch case statement, switch option, okay? And then all my cases, all my cases, there's some value available, case one, case two, case three. As you see, there is no condition here. There is no Boolean, there is no true or there is no false condition. It is one, two, three. So basically it will match exactly the same thing with our option. If option two, this case statement will work, go to checkout. If the option is one, it will go to any product chart. It will it will execute to case one. Basically, whenever you see a switch case, you always need to remember we are looking for the exact match. For if statement, we are looking for condition, true or false situation, okay? Again, here in this case, int option is equal to two. Switch, this is the syntax right now. You're writing switch keyword. Then in the parentheses inside your option, exact matching option, and then curly braces, and then case, space, and then options you wanna put it, in this case one, and then column, and then execute some statement to execute it. Okay, for example, system out print and add new product to the chart. And then break, and then case two, column, and then another statement to execute, System out print and go to checkout and break. And case three, and then system out print and check different payment options. And default. As you guys remember in the if statements, what we had, if none of the condition is true, what if statement is gonna do? It's gonna go to else statement and it's gonna perform the statement. It's gonna execute the statement inside the else statement. In this switch case situation, we have default. Basically, if none of the case, none of the case is matching, exact matching, with our option, it will just go to default and it will perform that one. Let's say, for example, here my option is four. Do we have any case statement with the four? No. Case one, no. Case two, no. Case three, no. Then it will just execute the default statement, which is the cancel the order. Okay. I hope this uh, introduction review, short review is clear. Right now, uh, we can go to our questions. I think we have two questions today. I say you want to start the first one? Yes, let me start at first. Okay, which one you want to do the first? The laptop model task. Okay, please go ahead. All right, so let me go over the task requirement first. So it says, write a program using if uh, switch statement that displays different messages for the given laptop models like Apple, Dell, or HP laptop models as below. Um, so they are different um, Laptop models are given. If it's Apple, display uh, Apple no virus. If it's um, Dell, display tough one. If it's HP, display not recommended. Else, show don't buy that one. So uh, for this one, we need one string. Laptop model. Let me create a string. Let me assign Apple. So here we're going to start with the switch uh, statement. So it's going to be switch. 
switch so here the switch case is the laptop mm -hmm. so basically this is right now our syntax right asya first switch yeah. keyword then you open close the parentheses and you put inside that option basically right exact matching is going to look for okay so uh based on the task i want to start with the apple so it's it says that uh, if the case is apple then it should display apple no virus okay any statement is going to be executed if it is matching right yes with the apple okay apple um, virus mm -hmm. and then here i'm going to give the brick okay and for the second case oops When the case you just is... write it, I think it will, uh, IntelliJ is going to already correct for you the uh, line. Okay. Uh-huh. If it is Dell, the... basically. It's, uh, it, it should display tough one. Okay. And here goes another brick statement. And when the case is HP. then we should display not recommended. Mm -hmm. I have a break in here. Okay. And last one is that else show don't uh, buy that one. So if it's not either three of that uh, laptop model, then the default result should be don't buy that one. Basically, if, if if not matching with the exact matching with the, any of this, right, either Apple, Dell, or HP, then it's just going to execute the default statement. Perfect. All right, you want to uh, run this code and see the output? Yes, here, uh, right now, our laptop model is Apple. Let's see the result. Mm -hmm. So, Apple. No virus because the um, the cases when the case is Apple, we want to execute Apple no virus. Okay, let's change it to maybe like some other stuff. Uh, let's put Sony. Okay, Sony. So it's not either Apple, Dell, HP. That means it should uh, run for the default result. Yeah, because it doesn't match right with yes. uh, any case statement here, so Sorry. it will just go to default statement. Yeah. Perfect. I think it was a nice example to see how the syntax uh, works uh, with the switch case. All right, thanks so much, Asya. Uh, Junula, you ready for a second question? Yes, Ozzy, I'm ready. All right, screen is yours. Okay, so let me go to uh, traffic light selector class. So let me read it first. So it says write a program using switch statement to display traffic light colors using following logic. So if it is capital or lowercase r, at the end, it should display red. If it is capital Y or lowercase y, it should display yellow. And if it is uh, capital G or lowercase g, it should display green, right? Mm -hmm. So let me write it. So I'm going to create one string variable here, uh, string, uh, let's say light color, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or color, anything you want to call. And let me say R for this, for this one, for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I will say switch uh, light color. And yeah. Let me put my cases. So the first case I'm going to put here is going to be R. Mm -hmm. Because in the question, it wants me to cover uh, capital R. Mm -hmm. But it also wants me to cover the lowercase r for the same exact uh, scenario or action, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why without doing anything else, I'm going to put one more case here. So I will say case, 
lowercase r and then I'm gonna put my uh, code here. So I will say red. Perfect. Yeah, this is interesting uh, scenario actually and I'm glad to be covering this one in the task. Basically right now, this uh, options, basically it can match with the both value, right? Capital R or lower case R. And we, are, uh, we can write the syntax uh, this way, however you wrote it. Yes, that's correct, Ozzy. Mm -hmm. So let me continue. So let's say, uh, actually let me put here break as well. Then let me continue. Let's say case uh, capital Y and case uh, lowercase y because of the same reason I put two of them. And this mm -hmm. time let me copy paste the system out printer and break here. I'm going to print yellow. Okay. And for the third case, again, I'm going to copy paste my cases and also the system out printer and put here, I'm going to change the values. So this time I'm covering a lowercase g and also the capital G scenario. So here it should uh, say green at the end. And let me also put one default one here, default scenario. So okay. let's say uh, system out print and I'm going to say here uh, invalid color. So if someone tries to put any other thing uh, other than these letters, I'm just going to say that it is something invalid. We cannot accept that. Okay. And let me also put one more break here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the solution, I think. All right. You want to execute and see the output? Yeah, let me do it. Mm -hmm. So let me run this one. So the light color is R right now, so it should print red. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, in the solution, I'm able to see red. Okay, let's change it to maybe light color to X and see what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to change it to X, run again. It says invalid color. Because it couldn't match with any case statement, right? Exact matching, it didn't happen. So it just went to default statement. Perfect. I have only quick question for Jundula, okay? Just clarification of the break statement, all right? So let's say, for example, you remove the break from line 20. Please remove it. What's going to happen? Okay, so if I remove this break from here, mm -hmm. it's not going to give me any compiler error or anything like that because it is not something mandatory. Uh, and if I don't change the light color right now and run it, it shouldn't be a problem. But if I again make this one small case R or capital R, Okay, okay. Uh, what's going to happen is it's going to run this line, line 19, because the case is fitting. And mm -hmm. then it's going to continue with the next cases, even though they are not fitting with my uh, color. It's even though it, they're not matching, right? So it's going to continue okay. with this one. It's going to also print yellow. Then we have break here. It's going to stop. So let me try it. Yes. So yeah, basically... Yeah, you run the code, basically break here, break, what break does is, break is breaking the switch statements. Break, basically, break it, stop working, all right? So whenever case is uh, matching with the exact matching and execute the statement, we want to get out from the switch case. That's why we're putting the break. And as Jundula says, if you remove the break from one of the case statement, it will just keep continuing doing the other case statements. Yes, actually, I ran it. And mm -hmm. yeah, in the result, I see that uh, it says red and yellow and it stopped there because we had break. Yes. How about uh, Junula for the default break? Do we need to, uh, is it mandatory to put the break in the default after default? Yeah. Uh, since the default right now we have here is the last statement, uh, I can remove this one because there's nothing else after this one. So it cannot run any more code. Mm -hmm. So right now it is not in the, uh, mandatory for this uh, structure that we have right now because it's the last statement, right? So if I put again anything like something invalid like X and run it, it should only pr print invalid color, which it did right now. I see it mm -hmm. says invalid color. But the thing is, it is not about default. It is about uh, the 
uh, the code is in the last uh, last statement or not, right? It is about the place of the code. So if I take this default from here and put it on the top and try to run it again. Can we do that one? Is it legal to do this? Yeah, uh, for the default and cases, it doesn't matter where you put the uh, put them. Like the, the order doesn't matter. Yeah. So let me run but it. Basically, either we can put the default in the beginning, or you can put in the middle, right between the case statements. You can put anywhere. But break is gonna change the things, right? Yeah, that that is correct actually. So let me run it and see the result actually. All right. Okay, this time it is printing. Invalid color, red, and also yellow because we don't have breaks uh, in default and my case are. Mm -hmm. So it is printing three of them at the same time. But what's supposed to be, usually it's supposed to just print invalid color and that's it, right? So let's fix the code right now. Okay, let me fix it without changing the place of the default. So I'm going to put mm -hmm. break here in line 19 and I'm going to put another break just like we did in the beginning uh, after the red as well. And let me run it one more time. This time it says invalid color only. Perfect. All right, yeah. Basically this is, you know, like the how uh, break works in this switch uh, case statements as well. All right. I think it was a very short uh, subject. Again, the main thing here we need to understand uh, is a selection statements uh, when to use if statement, when to use switch case, and always you guys need to remember if there's a condition needs to be evaluated to true or false, you need to use if statement. But if there's some only you matching certain things like color or certain number or certain menu items, whatever, right? Exactly matching, then you can use the switch case statements. All right, I think it was a good lab. Uh, we clarify, you know, like switch case statements. And thanks so much, uh, Jundullah and Asya, and I will see you guys on the next lab. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.